Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And it's time for those Oktoberfest beers. Now, I may be mispronouncing this, but this is how I was told to pronounce it. I was told to pronounce this brand Ettinger, uh, which sounds pretty German. Right. Um, now, this is their Oktoberfest Marzen. So this one's going in my gigantic Oktoberfest Marzen Fest beer playlist. And uh, it's been a really long time since I've had this. Now, for any of you crown cap collectors, they have a really, really They're so pretty. Isn't it, isn't it a really nice crown cap? It's, it's a really nice crown cap. Um, now, a little painting. Yeah, I had to go ahead and get the half liter because unless they seriously changed it, this stuff is delightful. It's a neat bottle. Oh, Smiller. Mm. Okay. Um, now. These are, you know, this is the German Bavarian beer. We're at like a 5.8. Mm -hmm. um, like there's tons of stuff on here that is in a different language. We're going to assume it's in German? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> With so. Uh, at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, uh, one of the world's most respected breweries, Family owned and operated since 1878. And I've had quite a few of their beers. Um, I used to work at this great little beer. Well, I say a beer pub because they had tons and tons of great beers. Uh, McKay's down in Daytona Beach. Shout out to my boys. I mean, we, we would regularly carry 200 different beers. Um, it's very Marzen-y looking. Yes. Now, Marzins are for sure one of my favorite, I guess, styles, times of year. I prefer a Marzin over a Fest beer. I do too, day. but I will drink a Fest beer. I mean, there is Fest mm -hmm. beers in that October Fest playlist. It definitely smells like a Marzin. And there's a lot of good craft beer Oktoberfests, but... Some of the European Oktoberfests are just straight knockouts. But, I mean, that's that's their thing. I haven't met a German beer yet I didn't like. Really haven't. That's, that's, a, that's a challenge. you got to have more German beers to see if there's one you don't dig. Yeah. Well, I'm, are you I'm, in? I'm, are you I'm, in? I'm, very, very large part of me is German. So, yeah. Uh, Germans make great cars, make great sausages. sausages make, make great beer. Great beer. Holy smoothness. Holy smoothness. Mm. Mm. That's real good, ain't it? That's really good. That's oh, real man, good. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. See, I'm not... That's a, what's up. I'm not... He is an Oktoberfest lunatic. <sighs> that's my jam. I love it. I said I, I prefer Marzins way over Fest beers. So and oh, that's a good Marzin. That's right. That's right. See, you gotta get these it old has school caramel -y. Oh, I've had some that are a little more silky feel uh -huh. than this. I have. This is a little more bright, I guess. Um, See, but it is. It's smooth, but, but it's, it's still it's not smooth. silky. Yeah, it's it's, it's bright, smooth. but it's not. It's not. But it's not, not dry. syrupy. It's not. Yeah. See, this is. It's not. It's got a little sweetness to it, but it's not too sweet. This is yummy. Oh yeah, brewed according to the. Man, I don't know how to pronounce the. Oh, right, it's got the purity laws. Yeah. So there's not a. That was good. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's certain breweries that are gonna produce a beer, be it a style or a brand, that's always gonna hit home for you. Yeah. And if you get those Bavarian breweries mm. that are gonna make those Bavarian brew styles, you know, the Marzen and stuff like that, they don't. Okay, I've said this in a couple of my other videos. Sometimes it's neat when somebody does the, this is my take on a blank. As long Occasionally as you can it's okay. Tell that, that style is what you're talking about. But some of some, some of them, these. You can't some even these, recognize a style. Yeah, I'm like, that's that's really not your take on that. You just changed everything. Yeah, you. Yeah. 
Um, it was good. It, it has a little bit of dryness in the aftertaste, but not bad. There's See, no but, hop. Okay, the reason I like that little bit of dryness in the aftertaste. Okay, the first couple of margins that I had had that smidge of dryness. So I asked the guy at the, at the I want to say tap house, but it wasn't really a tap house. Okay, it was called Burn Castle's Fest House. It was a German pub on the beach in Florida. This was one of the first places I used mm -hmm. to I used to run in this place. It was great. And I said, Wow, that's a that's a it's got a little bit of dryness. And he goes, Oh, it's for the food. And I was like, What? He goes, You're just having two or three beers and leaving. He's like, You're not having dinner. And okay. I'm like, Oh, right on. So I came in. Okay. I ordered uh well, I got I went there so many times, but um, I know once or twice I would just order myself a bratwurst. Yeah, and have a bratwurst and a beer like this, and okay. um, that little smidge of dryness really played well with the food as opposed I, I to just having that. the beer. Yeah, I can get that. Um, like because I had they had a kind of a beef. Now y'all are hearing probably the ice machine. <laughs> it just shut itself on by. Yeah. It's just, been off for a while. There just, you go. Okay. Uh, they had kind of like this Bavarian beef stew. That's what they called it. I don't know. I, I've never had it anywhere else. It was it was pretty great. Um, I want to say like it was made with some beer. Beer and in it. All that. It was. The place doesn't exist anymore. They 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 ran them out and tore the building down. Oh. Uh, there's a whole new thing there. Um, there, I've been told they reopened one with the same name, same family, but somewhere else. Um, it's not going to be the same. It's not on the beach. It's not the same dudes there. There, you know, um, uh, it was one of those, it was the right time, the right beer, the right place. Everything was good. Right. Um, uh, so I got to be, that was, that was my that was my hangout there for a while, and I, they always carried at least one uh, year-round Oktoberfest from one of the German beers. Uh, this was available pretty often, and two or three of their other varietals. Nice. So that, that's super yummy. That's that's a good margin. Um, I also think this one really. It needs to be a little bit warmer than refrigerator temperature. Because if you'll notice, it's starting to taste a yeah. little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed a lot of European beers tend to be just a smidge better at what they call su cellar temperature. Mm. Which is just a little bit warmer than American refrigerators. Oh, yeah. When it, that cold coldness comes off of yeah. it, the flavors brighten up. Um you get much more flavor out of it. Which is why I get the big one. I don't think I'd want any warmer, though. No. I think that, um, I think that mid temperature is fantastic. Oh, yeah. That's just, it's just why I get the yeah. slightly larger yeah. container. So the first drink is pretty good, and the rest of them are really good. Um, mm -hmm. But um, I'm seriously happy with this. Yeah, it, that is, is, that is it does play as well now as it did then. It is delicious. And she's my German beer fiend, so I decided to go ahead and do that. Um, well, um, there should be quite a bit that I can find about them. I'll put that down there in the description. There's also going to be some links to my merch store. Uh, you'll find my other social media links and stuff like that. Um, I'd love to talk to you guys about this down there in the comments. Like, what's your favorite uh, Oktoberfest? Because maybe it's one I haven't found yet or one I just haven't posted yet. We've been filming a lot lately. Because right. uh, I treat the Oktoberfest and the Marzins and the Fest beers like Pokemon. I want to catch them all. I'm going to try. I'm gonna Which try. one do you like better, a Marzin or a Fest beer? I'd like to know that too. Uh, if you've ever noticed, I really like to talk to uh, all the guys and gals down there in the comments. Um. Now, if you are enjoying it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you subscribe and ring the bell, you will be greeted at least three times a week by me and my friends having 
beers and various other things. Um, so let's go ahead down there and get it. Did they get? I did. I really I did. did. Too. Uh, would you have another one of these? Yeah, I would. I would like to have another one like yeah. right now. I'm sorry, I, I would definitely. Um, I'm gonna insert a new thing. Where I went and got this, they had the smaller one. Mm -hmm. And I specifically told you that I was going to get the bigger one. Right. And you were like, oh, okay. Kind of very different. Uh, now do you see why I went yeah. ahead and got the bigger one? Yeah. Uh, it's just the right amount for two people yeah. to have a good beer. Right. Um, I, I, I really find that I'm not a huge proponent of they do things better in other places. But the half liter beer yeah is a fantastic size right because a half liter is just a smidge over a pint and a pint of beer is like a pint of beer is just a great unit of beer yeah it really it really does it so europe has really got us on the uh pint of beer the yeah. half liter it that is a proper amount of beer so, I got to give you guys props for that, too. Um, now, but that does add into this. When it comes to pick six worthy and stuff, they do have that smaller thing. I think you can get yeah. like a six back, but the fact that you can get this large, I like that. Sing, what I consider a single serving beer size, Yeah. Um, it makes it very easy and simple. I highly recommend, like, if you're just going to have one, grab it. Go ahead and grab this half liter. Definitely get the bigger one. Um, it's the right size beer, mm -hmm. uh, especially with dinner. Mm. Uh, does it have seekability? Yes. I mean, it is a Marzen. Um, certain German brewing companies do produce an Oktoberfest year round. Uh, they're easier to find. In the September, October, November, right. even into December, easier. But uh, Oktoberfest are always going to be something that you have to look a little for. Uh, this is a European brand, so there's certain parts of the United States that may not get it. I right. hate that, but it, it just it is what it is. But uh, ask your liquor store. Right. Uh, ask your local beer store. Uh, it's going to be a little harder to get at your grocery stores, but you know, it's your specialty purveyors. They should be able to. Possibly help you. If not, uh, ask your buddies. Yeah, that, right. That travel. Yep. Um. So uh, let's get down to it. On one to ten, where you at on this one? It's an eight. Eight all day. This beer is fantastic. It it is to me by definition what I like in mm -hmm. the margin. It's the right color. It's the right flavor. It's the right alcohol content. Like and. and I might have been a seven just because of that little dryness on the back end, but now I understand it. So yeah. It's for food. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It's for food um, because this was intended to be a party beer where you were drinking and you're eating and you're, it's, it's an all. This makes me want to rock a pretzel now. But, you know, like, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't think people understand quite exactly what um, a lot of European Oktoberfest they're, I'm going to break this down and make it like super cliff notes and it's not quite right but this will make more of my American viewers understand it Oktoberfest is kind of like a giant tailgate yeah it really is uh, my European viewers may, may disagree with me but my American viewers will understand it a little better um, it's, it's a social event with your friends and your family and you're having a couple drinks and you're cooking, and you're it's it's this group fest festival, um, and that's that's what our tailgates are. Um, it, it's for you know this this is a tailgate beer, and when you understand that, yeah, for Americans it makes so much more sense. So, and Lord knows in the South we love to tailgate. That's great. We tailgate things that don't even need to be tailgated. You tailgated. Um, Tailgates or parties are not just for football anymore. No. Uh, They're just reasons to... Eat wings and drink beer. 
with your friends. <laughs> it is. I'll tailgate the. <laughs> Come at me. We'll t- we'll tailgate Walmart. I don't give a shit. <laughs> there you have it, folks. See you next spirit adventure. <laughs> Cheers.